than today. Well, any day. Have you noticed how some things float and some things sink in water? So today we're going to do an experiment of things that sink or float. So I have a little water tank where we're going to do the experiment. So first, this small ball and this big ball. This is plastic, this is metal. So first, let's start with this, with my mother's earring. Will it sink or float? I'm guessing it will sink. Sinking. Now, time for floating. I think this will float, this huge ball. Even though it's so big, it's pretty light. See? Nope. It is definitely a floater. Now, what about these? I'm guessing it is a floater. Yep. What about this angry bird? <laughs> I'm guessing it will float. Yeah, floater. And see, one cool thing about floating things that when you get them deep underwater, they just rise back up to do their floating. Pretty cool, right? What about this penny? Hmm. Sinking. This guy is definitely a sinking. Ooh. He's kind of stand like that. I forget it. You know how this happens? It's because of density. See, everything is made out of tiny molecules. Too small for us to see. Everything is made out of tiny, tiny molecules. And I mean everything, even water. And when those molecules are placed away from each other, then it has less density, so it will float. But when they're really close to each other, then it has more density, so it will sink. To be exact, if the density of something is more than the density of water, it will sink. But less than the density of water, it will Float. Wow, 